everyone. Well, I'm sitting on a very big box that's come all the way from the US of A. Yes, it's another American vacuum to look at today. I've got my handy box cutter. Another American vacuum and one that I've wanted for quite some time. And I'm really excited to be opening it. Yes, the excitement's back. Let's have a look if the excitement will turn into disappointment. Okay then, let's see if this Hoover Z400 or Z400 as we say in the UK. Let's see if it's uh, going to be a disappointment for me. Look, as long as it's in reasonable condition, is fully working, that is a result. Ooh, well, look at this. First of all, I'm going to have to put that through my trouser press or my uh, Elna press, in fact. We've actually got... The instruction book look and a very hefty one it is too but there'll be lots of different um, languages in there weren't there let's see is there a date it's printed in Mexico and in fact I believe this cleaner was assembled in Mexico as well oh I don't want that that's my invoice oh and some lovely tubes it's a shame I haven't got a hamster more tubes let's roll those out of the way and see if I can make something with them later on. Oh, I'm going to need my box cutter. I've lost it already. In the excitement, I threw it down. Hang on a minute, folks. Oh dear. Oh well, I'm sure it'll turn up someday. I've just had it. You've just seen me with it in my hand and it's gone. Right, I've got some scissors. Might be better anyway for opening the individually wrapped parts. Uh, so I think uh, this is the handle. Don't ask me how how much I paid for this. It was um, I don't know. I wanted it. I think it was on a buy it now. I think the shipping costs more than the actual cleaner. Right. There won't be many of these in the UK. Well, so far that looks in reasonable condition nothing that uh, a bit of a, a clean and a polish won't sort oh it is slightly very slightly telescopic and a nice sort of hand grip there and obviously the hose goes onto that bit so so far so good if the rest of the cleaner is in this sort of condition I'll be very happy okay then let's get the rest of the cleaner out of the box I think it's fully assembled so it's just a question of removing it from the box and taking all this bubble wrap off Okay. Oh, yes, it's, it is heavy. It is a heavy beast. I've been told it's as heavy or heavier than a Kirby. <clears throat> oh dear, this is not going to work, is it? Um, pull it out this way. Oh. Welcome to England, my American friend, or my Mexican friend, should I say, with American parts. Right, get rid of the box. Oh, excitement. I nearly lost the scissors again, but no, here. Yeah. Right, let's reveal. It's Hoover Z now. We were due to get this model. In fact, we're in fact it's the Z700, Z700 under the Maytag brand we were supposed to get in the UK. But I think well all we got in the UK Maytag branded in floor care. Well we got a few vacuums, upright vacuums. And we got the satellite or in America the constellation. We got a floor mate which was called the Maytag floor to floor. We got a uh, carpet washer, um, I can't remember that was, oh, that was based on the Vax Agility or Hoover Agility carpet washer. And this was due to come in. I've, I've got a magazine somewhere and it pictured the Z700 with the satellite. But something happened with Maytag and Hoover, I think, um, not Hoover. Well, anyway, something happened to the owners of Maytag and for some reason, we never got it. B 
this is boring for you, I'm sure. I'm just going to pause, take the bubble wrap off, and we'll uh, have a look at this vacuum. Well, folks, here it is. Here's the monstrosity, the behemoth, that is the Hoover C400. What? <laughs> Words fail me. Anyway, the Hoover Company, somebody at the Hoover Company, or several people at the Hoover Company decided to design this. And I'm glad to have one in a collection, but uh, what were Hoover thinking? <laughs> what were they thinking? Now, I have to admit to giving this a bit of a wipe over and a polish before showing it to you. It wasn't bad, but I've already discovered a couple of things that are wrong with it even before I plug it in. So um, hopefully I will be able to source those parts. I might uh, have to be very nice to some American friends and say, can you get me these parts? Ship them over and I'll pay you. Hopefully parts are still available for this. It is certainly missing some bits and pieces. Well, it's missing three bits. Well, four pieces, I think. Anyway, let's have a closer look at this. Um, I need to assemble it, don't I? Because I've got the hose which I think I need to attach to the handle, don't I? So uh, no, it just goes in like that. It's, uh, there we are. So this is in upright mode, obviously. Um, does the hose go like this? I think it might. Oh, that's it. Um, I have seen, there's not many video, oh heck, it's gonna give me a hernia. There's not many video, where is the carry handle? Is there one? There's not many videos on YouTube of the Z series, the Z400 or the Z700. And what, there are, what videos there are are pretty old. And I'm not saying anything against the people that made the videos because I still watch them and because I wanted to find out more. But obviously they, they were filmed on older equipment and it's not very easy to see a lot of things in the videos. But it was still good enough for me to, to get an idea of this machine and I've looked up on the internet about it. So hopefully this video will uh, be a little bit more watchable because I'm doing this in uh, 4K for you. Now how do I Oh. Oh yes, it's got the it's got the pedal here. Wow. <laughs> it's hard to describe. I mean the view I've got from above, looking down on this thing, I'll have to do a shot of that. <laughs> Limey O'Reilly. That is a massive thing. I mean, I thought Kirby's, I thought, yeah, Kirby's are not very suitable for the British home, but this certainly isn't. This could be the only Hoover Z in Great Britain. There might be the other odd collector that's got one. Now, it's creaking as well creaking <laughs> not even self-propelled either it is missing i believe because this doesn't look quite right to me i think there should be a cover on that or another filter shouldn't there you can see the motor inside there behind perspex uh, clear glass clear glass clear plastic so there's definitely something missing from there now obviously this thing <laughs> is in upright mode at the moment but it will convert into a compact canister. <coughs> I don't think Hoover ever claims this to be compact. There's a little ring pull here. If I can show you, just here, look. Now, if I pull that out, I should be able to fold it. There we go. There we are. Ah, oh, perfect. Is there a carry handle? Oh, perhaps it's there, look. I'm really pleased to have one, as long as it works. So that is that is in its sort of canister mode. And then of course you take the, the hose out and then um, should, I'm not sure, should reach right up the stairs. I think that is the carry handle there. Yes, it looks like there's quite a lot. Of, yes, I think this probably will. I'll be demoing this, of course, uh, if it works. Uh, I think this will reach up the stairs. There's a lot of hose here. 
Let's pull it there. Oh yes, I think that'll have no problem reaching up a standard flight of stairs. <laughs> wow. Oh, wonderful. It's wonderful in in a weird way. It's obviously not not the best vacuum cleaner. I'm saying that now just by handling the thing. <laughs> so, to uh, put it back in upright mode, we pull the little wing pull again. I might have to put my foot on it, I don't know. Oh. Come on, you were, you were behaving so well. Oh, there we are. That's it. There we are. Whew. Crikey, I've not even turned it on. I'm already tired. I'm going to have to go for a lie down. Now, as I said, I did wipe it over and give it a bit of a polish. I haven't touched the vast amount of American dirt that uh, the seller has left for me inside here. So this is the... Uh, whatever you call it. <laughs> the bin. So to empty it, I think I obviously have to take this... Oh. Just... There, look. American dirt. They've shipped that all the way to England. So that's going to need a good clean, as is this filter here at the top. There's also what Hoover claimed to be a self-cleaning pleated filter, I believe, behind here. And I need to get that out and clean it. It should, if it's working correctly, it should rotate as the machine is on and a little metal clip, I think, is supposed to flick the dirt off it. A bit similar, I suppose, to the way the Miele Blizzard and the Bosch bagless cleaners work. The Miele Blizzard, of course, you have to press the button for that to operate. And in the Bosch, you have to turn it manually. But this one is supposed to run all the time to, in theory, keep the filter clean, but I don't think it worked in practice. So this goes on here, like that, yes. Now on this side, you see I have done my homework before getting this. Oh. This side we have the little compartment that is supposed to hold the three small cleaning tools, but my first disappointment, well, my second one, obviously something missing from down here. And the second disappointment was when I actually opened this container, this compartment. The cupboard was bare, I'm afraid. No tools. You'd think they'd have been in it, to be honest, because they're stored inside. So there should have been definitely a crevice tool, a dusting brush, and probably a, some sort of furniture stair nozzle in there. So that's disappointing. Now, no auto cord rewind on this machine, but then that would have made it even heavier. You've just got two hooks. Oh. Ha! Despite having an arrow on it that denotes that it should move, I don't think it does. I think only the top hook will swivel. Yes, fixed hook at the bottom and got the swivel hook at the top. When this cleaner was manufactured, it was obviously designed to be exported to the UK because this here is a cutout to fit a UK plug. And just to prove that it does fit a UK plug, I just happen to have a UK plug here attached to another Hoover. So if this was officially available in the UK, it would have had one of these three pin plugs on it. And as you can see, it fits very well into that, into the three holes there. And I could have wrapped around the cord. So yes, it was a machine that was supposed to come to the UK, but sadly we never got it. But luckily enough for me, I did manage to get one. I absolutely love this large Hoover logo on the front of this machine. Down here, we've got the control panel. So we've got the on off switch here and the carpet height selectors here and the hard surface button. So the hard surface button will turn the brush roller off. So obviously this must have two motors and then high, medium and low that will automatically adjust the wheels underneath to raise or lower the head. So for high pile, medium pile, 
or low pile carpet. I'm not sure if that lights up on this model, but we'll soon hopefully find out. Okay then, well it's time to see if this American behemoth actually works. I don't think I'm going to be able to try to turn this on via the switch on my box because of the design of the switches on the machine. It's, it's a funny sort of push button, so I'm going to have to be near the machine I think to turn it on. Okay, my box is plugged in, the cleaner's plugged in. And the box is now on, okay. Ooh. Well, there's no dogs in the vicinity, that's okay, right. <laughs> Go on, do it. If it blows up, you might get some more viewers. Well, it actually works. I actually saw the filter rotating and it lit up and it's not as loud as I expected. Although we haven't seen if the brush roll motor works yet, have we? Right, let's just pull this cable up. Is there anything to hook it to, I wonder? I thought there would be because the cable is quite low down. I'll have to peruse the uh, instruction book. That's ridiculous. Right, so we've got, turn it on here again. You can hear, can you hear that noise? It's the filter. That makes more noise than the motor almost. The filter rotating, it's sort of a chick, 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 chick noise. I want to show you the filter if I can get close enough with the camera. I think it's, uh, couldn't detect much suction. Actually, let's have a, let's have a feel, shall we? How do you get that off? Does that come off? Hang on. Oh, I'm not sure. Let's just, just get a feel of the suction. Well, folks, virtually non-existent suction there. It clearly needs a really good clean out. In fact, what I'll do with another vacuum, I will just empty this container and then vacuum this filter at the top and see if we get an improvement. Okay, one empty and a little bit of a, a suck out with a mealer has cleaned this uh, mesh filter at the top. I don't know if there's supposed to be any sort of other filter as well. Obviously, I think the um, pleated filter will be absolutely caked, but hopefully this will improve it somewhat. There we are. Let's uh, give it another go. An ever so slight improvement, but very slight. Yes, I think the problem lies, it could be a blockage of course, but I think the main problem will lie in this filter, but I won't be taking that apart in this video. Well, there you go. That's the end of the story for now for this Hoover Z400 Sports Utility Vacuum. Wow, I'm really pleased to get it. Ugh. Despite its many, 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 many faults. As part of a collection, it's a pretty unusual cleaner. But, um, yeah, I pity the poor people that actually bought one of these back in the day to clean their homes. I don't think they'd have been very happy with it somehow. But if you're a collector, it's probably one that you may want to seek out for your collection. <sighs> now, where am I gonna store this thing? <laughs> anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I've certainly enjoyed finding out about this machine. I'm fairly happy overall. 
obviously it needs a little bit of TLC. The filter certainly needs either replacing or, or cleaning properly. I need to source some tools for it, but all in all, it works and I'm pretty happy with it. If you have any comments or questions about this beast, please comment below and I'll see you all very soon. Bye for now.